When I was in 11th grade, I had a really good history teacher. At least I thought he was. He was very buttoned down. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was talking about. And he loved history. He was very reverent towards America, the United States of America. So one day, this teacher brought in a copy of the New York Daily News from VE Day, the day that America and Europe won the war in Europe. He was very proud of it. It was in plastic. It was encased in plastic. He held it up in front of the whole class and started talking about it. Now, from where I was sitting, I could sort of see the back page. And on the back page was the sports page, as it still is today on the Daily News. And I kind of blurted out who won the Yankee game. Well, he slammed down the paper. He got so angry. Now, I was just curious. I was. I saw it. I said, I, I was wanting to know what was going on. Who won the Yankee game? He threw down the paper. You kids have no respect. You are such wiseacres or wise. He was used harsher language. He got so angry with me because I had dared to say something that to him was a sacred moment, the date of VE Day, and he had saved this thing. But to me, that newspaper represented more than just a moment in history. It was a moment in time. It was a time capsule, if you will. And I really wanted to know what else was going on on VE Day. Who did win the Yankee game? What was playing on the radio? What was playing in the movie theaters? What was playing... What were the most popular songs at the time? What was the price of eggs, of milk, of meat, of gas? I wanted to know what the styles were. What were they advertising? This, to me, was what history was all about. It wasn't just about the names and the dates. It was about people living those moments, the people in their homes, the people in, on, on the front. What was going on? in pop culture. This is part of why I love history. I love pop culture. And I realized only later that my question was legit. I was not being disrespectful. I wanted to know what was going on in the world at that moment. History, pop culture, they're all intertwined. They always are. And this is why I call my channel Pop Goes the Culture because what is going on in pop, cu pop culture and what is going on in the moment are just as important as what was going on in history. I hope you'll stay with the channel. I hope you'll follow me. I hope you will subscribe. We're going to be exploring all of that. Thanks for watching.